What's up, guys, and welcome back to Dedicated Diva Homeschooling for the 2023 school year. Now, we want to get our school year off to a great start. I don't know about you, but I am pumped for this year. I love the second semester. It's like it's almost like you can see everything rounding out. You see how your kiddos did the first time around in the first semester, and now the second semester is here, and we have little breaks here and there now i don't know if you guys follow the school calendars that's in your county but my kiddos we follow the school calendar that's in our county and so there are little breaks here and there and little holidays here and there and i like this time around because it seems like everything is just a hop skip and jump away um we like doing different type of projects and things of that sort and so this time around be so much fun because first semester you're trying to, you know, dig down in everything. You're trying to go over everything that you went over like two or three months ago with your kiddos. But the second semester is so much more fun for us. Now, I want to make sure you guys do some things or you guys want to keep an eye out on certain things just to make sure you kiddos, your kiddos stay going in the right direction now you want to make sure that if you haven't put in the grades for last semester you want to make sure you do that now because i know some umbrella schools well i go through umbrella schools, so you hear me say that a lot some umbrella schools will cut off the time that you can go back in and they'll actually have to do it for you so instead of them having to do that for you you want to make sure that you get in all your kiddos grades if they are going through an umbrella school now if you are going through through the independent route going through the state you know that's something you have to do at the very end of the school year so you want to make sure if you're going through an umbrella school get those get those grades in and that attendance in for the first semester now, you want to make sure that you have a plan in place for the second semester. So if it's something that, you know, that your kiddos may wasn't, they may not have been doing so good on, you want to make sure that you go back over some of those things so the second semester can run smoother. And yeah, you just want to have fun while you're doing it because everything is way better I don't know for you guys but for me and my kiddos my son he's a senior so this will be his last time going through anything school and I have a 10 year old and so we're wrapping everything up for her and the first semester we like to get everything out of the way all of the things that I like to say this on the harder side so the second semester can just be a skating ride through. Um, you want to make sure also that your kids read for 20 or 30 minutes a day. Now, I've been doing this with my kiddos ever since they have been in first or second grade, even when my son was going to a brick and mortar school before homeschool came around we wanted to make sure that we read 20 30 minutes a day if me and my kiddos were not sick we made sure we read 20 to 30 minutes a day this can be at bedtime it can be when you get up it can be you know when you're going for snacks and you guys want to go back and forth make sure you read for 20 to 30 minutes a day make sure your kiddos read for 20 or 30 minutes a day because it helps them in all of their other subjects reading go across everything math science social studies english your kiddo has to know how how to read now here in tennessee I would say for the last two, three years, if not more than that, the kiddos have been going downhill when it came when it comes to reading and the report card here in the state of Tennessee. Reading has been horrible, but I can honestly say my kids do not make that up. And it's just because we love reading. You also want to make sure you give your kiddos pen and paper so they can actually write i know everything is digital now everything is typing everything is on some type of device now you want to make sure they put their hand 
on a pen or a pencil on paper and write their names, signatures, different things like that. And just all over, you want to make sure they get out of the house and take a breath every now and then just to make sure they don't get tired of everything that they're doing.